Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be your daily tarot reading for Friday the 4th of October 2019. This is for the collective, it is for all signs. Now I'm using the Guardian Angel Tarot to pull a major theme and energy for you today. I'm also using messages from your animal spirit guides. I'm using the Morgan Greer Tarot deck for your daily general messages. Now I will be pulling several tea leaf cards for you as well as at the end of your reading I will be pulling several I am positive thought cards for you. So we have manifest your dreams coming up here. Beautiful energy. Thank you spirit. Alright. What extra messages do you have for us spirit? Thank you, Spirit. All right, so we have Cat Spirit. Claim your independence. Beautiful. All right. Thank you, Spirit. What extra messages do we need to note it in Spirit? Thank you. Friday. The 4th of October, 2019. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. All right, we are ready. So we have Judgment. Eight of Rods. Queen of Swords. Four of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, The Moon, The Sun, love it, all right, and the Ten of Cups, amazing, all right, thank you, Spirit. What extra messages do you have for us, Spirit? All right, so we have well, hell, and V. All right. Give me just a moment here. All right, let's take a look at your major energies. So we have manifest your dreams. You're ready to go. There's no need for additional preparation. Take the first steps toward the changes you desire, even if they're small steps. Notice signs that guide you in the right direction, as well as resources and support that miraculously appear beautiful. You're being divinely guided here. All right, so we have Cat Spirit. Claim your independence, and it is the number 13. I love that. Um you know, claim who you are, be who you are, be comfortable in your own skin. Um, you know, I, I really feel like it's important for you to stand in your truth and what you believe in. And, you know, the, with the cat spirit coming up here, it's talking about claiming your independence um, and being proud of it, I feel. You know, being appreciative for what you have, how far you've come. And I feel like that's such a beautiful energy here. So now we have, well, great worry over nothing. So some of you are uh, in that eight of swords type of energy. You're having some uh, mental conflicts, I feel, with this coming up here. And Spirit saying that I feel it's, there's a need to look at the big picture and not the, the details, okay? How you're gonna maybe, maybe going to get to where what your goal is or what you're trying to achieve you may be spending too much time and thinking too much on all the in between all right and I, I feel like that's causing a lot of a great deal of stress and worry for nothing now you have Pell time to get out of a situation for some of you this could be a job a work situation it's time to move on to something else I am getting for a handful of you you're in a relationship it's toxic 
and there's a need for you to get out and get away and move on. Now we have V coming up here, victory in some endeavor. So some of you are having some type of victory within a situation in your life. This is a very positive reading here. We have judgment clarified by the page of pentacles. Judgment talks about going through a major transformation because you're ending a cycle in your life. Um, you know, there's a big emphasis here on making sure that whatever chapter you're closing out in your book of life that you go and you take a look spend some time pausing and reflecting and really paying attention to the challenges and obstacles anything that you don't want to repeat in the present or in the future take that knowledge out of those situations and put that in your inner well of knowledge so you won't repeat anything because right here this says this is almost like being reborn again you have rite of passage second chances here uh, now is the time to transition into this new beginning. Now we have the Page of Pentacles. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This is a very down-to-earth energy right here. This talks about bringing a practical approach at what it is that you possibly uh, do on a day-to-day -day basis. It has to do with money, maybe. Uh, this talks about you planted the seeds, you nurtured them. Some of you may be starting to see that growth and expansion coming to fruition within your financial situation. Uh, this can also represent that you're having positive uh, progress within a, a maybe a new job or maybe this is a new project that you started. So very nice right there. So now we have the Eight of Rods clarified by the moon. The Eight of Rods is the energy of rushing ahead, taking action. This talks about that what you put out is coming back very quickly. I feel this is positive. Um, this is news coming in for many of you about something you are unclear about, especially with the moon, the energy of Pisces coming up. You're clarifying this. But you are going to have clarity once this news comes in. Uh, this talks about you having many opportunities and options that are available to you at this time as well whatever's coming back it's gonna be very exciting for you there's a lot of enthusiasm here I feel that many of you have been guided through the dark you know the energy of the dark night of the soul you have trusted in spirit you paid attention to your intuition uh, your dream sign symbolism and synchronicities as well the moon can oftentimes represent what I was talking about in the beginning when we know what our goal is but we get so caught up of thinking about the in-between here as you can see along this path there's areas that you you cannot see and oftentimes we can allow that fear to keep us from taking the steps to achieve our goals all right so i love it because it's side by it's side by side here with the sun and then you have this exciting news coming in here so whatever was unclear you are going to have that clarity. Now you have the Queen of Swords clarified by the Sun. This is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. Uh, the Queen of Swords is that no-nonsense type of energy. It's time to use logic and reason. It's time to cut out any toxic situations or people that is no longer serving your best interest or purpose at this time. This could be you cutting out uh, negative ways of thinking. Maybe... Um, Things that have not been to your benefit, letting it go. Uh, there may be a need to dump some emotional baggage. So you, it's kind of like clearing the air, clearing the clutter um, spiritually within yourself. So you can move forward and have this continuous clarity within you. Um, there may be a need to speak a truth and be very direct. There's a need for you to be outspoken. Uh, if there's something that needs to be said, say it. Um, right now, I'm just getting that it's your time to shine here with the sun. You've been doing a lot of inner work, and I feel like there's a reward coming here. This is the energy of Leo. This talks about having a great deal of creativity that brings about success. This also talks about clarity, discovery of truth within yourself or maybe within a situation or other people. You know, oftentimes this can represent a birth of a child as well. But most importantly, this talks about the sun shining 
down on you all right and you having clarity about which direction to to move in now we have the four of pentacles clarified by the ten of cups the four of pentacles represents stability security for many of you this is what you're working towards you're wanting to lay a strong foundation that's going to be unshakable when it comes to your financial uh, structure some of you may have recently taken back power and control over your financial situation uh, i feel this is very positive whatever you're you're building a, a, an empire here is what i'm getting from spirit and it's, it's very positive it's your own personal financial stability and security and with the ten of cups clarifying that energy it is just there's a promise of more of this to come okay this talks about happiness within your home your family uh, it's that peace and joy that comes within your heart and soul and spirit says your cups are runneth over at this time you have a rainbow here with endless possibilities it's infinite possibilities is is what i'm getting from spirit it's so positive um and there's a promise of more of this um, happiness and more of this joy your cup runneth over type energy coming in and i feel for many of you it, it has to do with your finances as well whatever you've been working towards i feel like you're going to start seeing a payoff coming in within your situation all right we have manifest your dreams you're ready to go there's no need for additional preparation take the time take the first steps toward the changes you desire even if they're small steps notice signs that guide you in the right direction as well as resources and support that miraculously appear you are being divinely guided spirit is saying that i've got your back all right your angels have your back your spirit guides are with you um you know you're going to be guided through anything that was unclear and you're going to have so much clarity i feel like coming in now is the time to claim your independence okay and be proud of what you are manifesting and co-creating in your reality be proud of your accomplishments and your achievements you have the well here great worry over nothing all right there may be a need to ground yourself at this time or um, if you are having a hard time of getting out of that negative mindset, ask your angels and your spirit guides to help you. They are here and ready and willing to. You have pill. Time to get out of a situation. This could be a job for some of you. This could be a toxic, uh, wow, spirit saying violent relationship. It's time to get out of it. So we have the victory in some endeavor. So there's going to be some type of victory that comes in here. I feel like it's this this news that's coming in where you've kind of been in the dark and now you have the clarity within how this situation how you're going to get from a to b to c okay so very positive remember learn from the past lessons obstacles and challenges that you've been through take those with you so you can use them in the present and in the future you have rite of passage here second chances this is rebirth the seeds you planted and nurtured uh, some, like I said, some of you may be starting to see the growth and expansion coming back now. Uh, you're very down to earth and practical. I feel like you've really put in a lot of time and effort with what you're working towards. Some of you may have recently started a new business or a new project that is going to bring about some financial gain. News, exciting news is coming in. Whatever you put out is coming back. If it's been unclear, uh, uh, about your path how you're going to get you know meet your goal uh the sun is here things are uh the way is going to be shown to you is what i'm trying to say here it could be an aha moment um it, it could be something just you're not expecting and then you just have clear sight clear vision about how everything's going to work out so uh with the sun here it, it's just amazing and the sun will shine on this path that has been that hasn't been shown to you and you're going to be able to move forward really pay attention to your dream sign symbolism and synchronicities that's going to be very important it's going to be very important for you to cut out anything that's not serving your best purpose at this time as well now for some of you there's a need for you to speak your truth and be very clear with your intentions as well 
the sun, you know, it's your time to shine, you guys. It, it, this is your inner child is coming out. Uh, let people know who you are. Claim who you are. Be proud of who you are. That's so important. There's so much clarity that's coming together here with what you're working towards, what your goal is. So it's coming. Some of you are really laying a foundation that's going to be unshakable, okay, uh, when it comes to your stability and security. And Spirit says there's a promise of more of this energy to come here. You have infinite possibilities and your cup is runneth over. Thank you so much, Spirit. I am happy and I am focused. All right. I take control of my happiness when my happiness depends on others' actions. I am at the mercy of things I cannot control. Instead, I choose to cultivate consistent happiness by focusing on the things I love about myself. I am happy. I am focused. I am focused on achieving my goals through deliberate actions. I take time to feel how it would feel to achieve my dreams. I visualize my desires through a lens of love and happiness. I am focused. All right. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I love each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. I cannot say it enough. I thank each and every one of you for being a part of my spiritual journey. And I'm so happy to be a part of yours as well. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.